This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Health One. Okay, so um, so most of you are already well versed with giving Haldol, right, for for pain and for nausea, which is a great medication. Uh, I'm going to talk about a new kid on the block that's a replacement for Haldol, especially as you have more and more patients who develop Haldol allergies, right? Uh, what can you give them instead? I have a Haldol allergy, but I'm a cyclic vomiter. Zyprexa. Zyprexa is great, right? Zyprexa is actually an awesome drug for several reasons. One, it gives you a lot of the same kind of benefits of sedation for pain. For patients who have a lot of anxiety-driven pain or neuropathic pain, Zyprexa is a really powerful agent for that. Zyprexa has also got this awesome property of being a great rescue for migraines. There's two studies now that say for refractory migraines that have failed sumatriptan, X, Y, and Z, you can actually give them Zyprexa. Zyprexa is also great because what does it come in? An oral dissolving tablet that you can send patients home with. So oftentimes I'll send a lot of my cyclic vomitors home with oral Zyprexa for 10 pills. Uh, and I've actually had a cyclic vomitor who we couldn't get an IV in, who we gave PO Zyprexa to, who actually stopped vomiting and then I discharged after an hour. So it's pretty cool medicine that you should all be familiar with. Uh, thanks to the awesome work of our pharmacists, we can give Zyprexa IV. Uh, if you actually look at the the um, basically pamphlet insert for Zyprexa, it says it can't be given IV, and that's the exact same as Haldol, right? Haldol is not actually approved to be given IV either, but they're both very safe to give IV. Um, and the other thing with Zyprexa is that it's beneficial because what do people not get with it? Yeah. Yeah. So they don't get tar dives. They don't get all the basically dopaminergic. <laughs> They don't get all the akesthesia and all the derpanergic stuff that you get with uh, with oftentimes Haldol and traditional antipsychotics because it's a second generation. So it doesn't give you as much of that. And the only population that you should be a little cautious with Zyprexa is... Well, old, pe old people always have to be a little more cautious, but it's actually people who are diabetic. So Zyprexa will actually increase your blood sugar. So I oftentimes, if you're like an uncontrolled diabetic or type 1 diabetic, you'd be a little more cautious with using Zyprexa. Yay, Zyprexa. Yay, Alto. We are on a quest to provide the world with free medical education. Please help us out by rating us on iTunes, following us on social media, and subscribing to our newsletter at emergencymedicalminute.com.